Well, things are finally starting to happen around here. Big things. After six months of paperwork delay and a whole lot of other headaches and problems, it's time for this, this trailer to go and put my shop up. So over the next two weeks, I guess, I'll probably have some major transformation. Um, the trailer's coming out. The rest of the excavation needs finished. That loader's not going to do it. Um, I almost have it running, but we're getting a much bigger loader. We got to finish taking this out. Finish all that dirt around the back end and start cutting through the woods and building benches down since that's a 15 foot drop off there. Um, but before I move all that dirt, the trailer's coming out, or so, um, which leads to the next step. So this garage, I was storing a bunch of stuff in there. Turned out it's mostly trash. That's where the trailer is going to go, right? It's going to push back more onto the new property back there. We see that Connex. All the stuff I want to store is going to the Connex. All my tools are going to that van box there uh, for my temporary shop. And uh, it's almost emptied out. Me and Donald have really been working at this. I've been working at it during the week here. So, so this has to get burnt down and then we can move the trailer in here. Because uh, the idea is I want to be able to push it back. We'll find out here in about 30 seconds if that worked. <laughs> I don't know yet because I didn't film it and do it yet. You all get the find out a lot sooner than me ideas i want to push it back so i didn't want it full of trash and junk the whole time i'm trying to push it back i think it just caused a lot of problems uh, a lot of stuff to run over and just be a mess so dog's a nut Get all the animals out from under there. Give them their eviction notice. Let's go. Come on. Don't go under. Go get the animals. Go on. Hey, what's under here? What's under there? Look at them. Get all the animals out. You know, we're at the part where we need to move the trailer. But I don't know if you can tell or not. It don't have wheels. So I got to crawl under here. And luckily the wheels are right there. I don't like crawling around here too much because there's all kinds of nastiness and animals around here. I've been under here quite a few times. There's the dog, and uh, it just plain old sucks. So, the spacing is, oh look at that. The fact that that thing rolls that easy is gonna really help us. Not seized up. It's only been sitting down here since, uh, since the 70s, late 70s. So we got six inches overall. Um, see, it's hard to, to measure this, but it looks like it's going to be a, a nine and a half, hmm, the center section. Well, I should take pictures and send it to the guy. It's going to be... Around eight and a half inches, the best I can tell. Um, I kind of just set that down on that pintle, so I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna go look at that. The whole thing is about three inches tall, so about three inches of opening in the pintle. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't have to get under there. I can reach all of it from here. There's nothing but dang briars on this side. I figure worst case is the worst. Just gotta heat them up a little bit.
put some more hydraulic fluid in this jack and then try. What's that? I'm gonna try getting some more hydraulic fluid in this jack. It kind of was known to leak. Well, I can get this 2 by 4 under here. I'm gonna put this one in first and then try to slide this one in. Oh, dude, we're almost there. Come on. There we go. All right, that's gonna be good enough so I can start getting wheels on. Go for it. There's a whole nother problem happening over here. Look at this. Yeah, I can't even get the wheel over here. Make the hole. Well. I was thinking. Just enough. Anyway, so he said he asked if, uh, kind of jokingly, like, "Oh, would it be?" He's like, "Would it be me going there?" But anyway, he said my name or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I was like, "Oh yeah," and so I, I like responded to it or whatever. Anyway, it's just kind of funny because he's actually he's talking about me, but he's talking to Josh. Yeah. And I walked in the door. <laughs> Pretty funny. You should have been there. Wow. Well, yeah, I know. I'm just trying <laughs> to hold it all back, man. Uh, I don't want to be under here in stitches, you know what I mean? Well, it's not supposed to be a funny story. I don't know. I don't know. I thought I, I'm just trying to hold it back. I'm just I'm just amazed. <laughs> this weekend my story is having You know Oh dude, right there it is. Just enough space. Now where'd I put all this? Oh, they're over here.
coach is disconnected. We got, we got about four inches out of that left. Um, it's all right. Even a cinder block, we put a cinder block under the jack, it's just gonna... Is that the chimney? Is it fall? Oh, not for long. I'll mess the wall up a little bit there. Uh oh. That thing should just be falling off right now. No matter, I gotta get it out of here. It's going back on the property for now, anyway.
See, that really lets in the light. You know, that's what you need in the house. The big old door. And now I can get my pole stove out there pretty efficiently. So, I'd like to pull this trailer up here. I got more of an open area here to work on it, to burn it. So what I did is I put a chain on the hitch there, the tongue, and a chain on my pintle. I got the dump truck. You got the dump truck chain to it. So I'm going to try moving forward. <laughs> decent but I'd still like to get it up here ah, another 10 foot I want to get it past that bucket of that loader down there um, the problem is everything's mud here maybe if I had a load of stone on there it help but I don't It is destroying the, 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 the hitch here, the tongue. Wow. 
I stopped because I ran out of space, but I am kind of getting up to the stone here now. So it's probably a good place to, to park it for now. This looks absolutely fabulous. This is this door is right where the truck was. So yeah, we moved it 50 something feet. That's great. I